Hey, welcome back to another edition of our leadership series. Uh, I'm going to make this pretty brief. This is about conflict management. If you're in management, you've dealt with this. You know you have to deal with conflict in between the salespeople, in between your, your subordinates, whatever you want to call them. Um, look, I, I'm, I'm so torn on this. I go back and forth. I handle conflict management depending on what the situation dictates, right? I let the situation decide what level of and what style of management I give. I'm a military guy, so I do have tendency to come back and be a little bit more brash and harsh when I need to be. If it doesn't call for it, I'm going to try to guide my employees, my workers, whoever it is that I'm training, coming to a mutual agreement. Right? A mutually beneficial agreement that is going to not only better themselves, both individually and together, but also better the team. Now, I'm not talking about you know going crazy, locking them in a room, and you're not coming out until you guys get along. No, we're not, we're not going to do that. Everybody's an adult. You're professionals. You're in a field. So listen to both sides. Let each side state their case. Get a gauge for just how willing the parties are to come to an agreement and negotiate and work together and go from there. If, if you have a, you know, a group of people or two people that just despise each other, then you may have to say, you know, all right, listen, we're not going to act this way. We are professionals and this ends right here, right now. Sometimes you have to do that. Other times you may have to be like, listen, I'm going to take my professional hat off. You guys need to knock it off. Just knock it off. You guys are both rock stars in what you do. Figure out how to work it out. Let's go. If you see two people already willing to work together, just be a mediator. Right? Okay. You say you feel this way. You say you feel that way. Here's the common ground. Let's try to figure out what you guys are saying. Most of the time I find that conflict comes from bad communication. And I can do a whole other video series on communication and management, but or we'll do that later, right? Um, so just kind of be aware. You know, being a good leader really takes good emotional awareness and you know, emotional intelligence. Not just on your end, but seeing what's driving the conflict between your, your groups and your people. So be aware, keep an eye out, really learn what the situation dictates. So that's the best advice I can give, aside from really giving you my deep dive into how the Slaymaker Method handles conflict management from a leadership standpoint. But this is YouTube. We're just doing quick videos. They're easy to digest for you. I will talk to you later. I'll see you next time. Good luck.